so she sees me now. She hasn't quite hidden yet, but she's staying at the back of the tank. So maybe she's getting kind of used to me. Maybe not. Let's see what happens if I take one step closer. All right, still out and swimming around. She still sees me. It's still swimming at the back of the tank. Me and her have been playing cat and mouse for a while. She's very timid against me. She just doesn't like me, honestly. She's a little scaredy cat. I mean, she's probably been through a lot, dude. She got to the local fish store, and she was still in the bag. And I'm like, don't take her out the bag. Just let me bring her home. And they're like, all right, but we're not going to warranty the fish. And I'm like, well, that's fine. Well, I don't want to stick have them stick it in your tank and then uproot her again. I'd rather just get her to my house and put her in QT and watch her and see if I can get even closer. And she should go in her tube, which she always does. I got her in my workshop, so there's no human contact except for when I come in here. She's so pretty, though. What's up, beautiful? Yep. Hi! Oh, you coming out? I know, you want a bigger tank, I know. Well, you gotta stay in here in some copper for a little while. I just want to make sure you don't have anything funky on you. So that you'll be okay. But you look good. You hungry? I'll feed you. Let's see, let me try and give her some food. Very skittish. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry. There's some food for you if you want. You want to have at it. I'll back off so you can look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I ain't gonna touch you. You're fine. Go eat some grub. I haven't seen her eat yet. I hope she's gonna eat. She's healthy. Oh, yes. Oh, she just grabbed a piece of food. Sweet. Oh, that makes me happy. A fish that refuses to eat is a dead fish. And she's eating, so that makes me happy. Oh, I just got done dealing with a uh, velvet. Um, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I've never had it before. And uh, fish after fish, like, just after, they, they look sick and two days later they were dead. And, and I'd put them in copper, and then they'd look worse. And with ick, they'd get better. With velvet, they'd die. they just, I don't know. They would eat. They would even eat. But but then they would die. It just doesn't matter. Velvet, velvet's scary stuff. And I lost probably about three or $400 in fish. And I, th I, I was... Doing water, you know, I was probably adding stress to the situation by doing water changes. I thought it was something I was doing wrong, and it wasn't. It was just, I should have just left them alone, kept the lights off, let them try and fight it off themselves. So, lesson learned. You can treat fish for velvet. You just got to have good water conditions, and don't try and feed them, don't mess with them, don't have the lights on, just leave them be. Get them in copper. It's all you can do. If they live, they live. If they don't, they don't. But once one dies, you got to get it out the tank immediately because it creates an ammonia spike, which will kill the fish. So it's a tough situation to have to deal with. And a lot of people lose a lot of fish. And, and it sucks. But that being said, th this has been my QT tank has been empty for about three weeks and I got another tank 
that's got a bunch of algae in it because I lost some fish to the velvet. They died in there. I pulled them out, but there were still a lot of phosphates in there. And um, I got a bunch of algae. So I bought a, uh, I bought a, um, a sea hare, and he's taking care of that business now. So that, it should take him a couple of months to clean that whole tank up which is about as long as I want to keep her in QT because it's already been a month, so that tank's not had any fish. Three months, fallow, ick, velvet, doesn't matter. The parasite's going to die. It's going to starve to death. So I guess we'll see. But she's eating, so that's what I want. Tomorrow's Sunday, going to do a water change. I already got the water made. Oh, it's, it's been stressful. I, I lost a queen angel. I lost um, two clownfish. I lost um, a, a sailfin angel, I think. It's kind of the silvery with the yellow tail. I lost one of those. I lost my annularis angel. That broke my heart. I, I love that fish. I had her for about six months and... I saved her from fluke. I saved her from ick. I mean, she went through hell in a handbag. And then I went and bought this flag fin or that yellow tip, whatever the hell it was. But uh, it, it, that's where I got the velvet from. And it murdered everything. And I couldn't figure it out. But that's what it was. So if, if you're losing fish, like new fish, healthy fish, and they just look sick after a few days, stop buying fish. Figure out what the problem is. Most likely it's probably velvet because ick doesn't kill right away. Ick, you'll see the big white spots. Velvet, you won't see nothing until you notice them really looking sick. And then you'll see a bunch of little white spots. That's not ick. That's velvet. And you don't want to stick that stuff in your reef tank. Ever. <sighs> so that being said... She's doing cool. Anyways, I figured I'd just shoot a little video. Um, I got this fish healthy. Uh, she's in QT, treated with copper. There's also a diamondback um, goby in there, sand sifting goby. He's the one making all the sand piles. And she is eating like a champion. Good. Go, girl. Go. Eat. You eat. All right. That's it for now.